اهلا بيكم في كايرو دار النهارده هنبدا نتكلم عن فلويم and the, uh, transform, the transportation of the high energy materials that formed in the leaf as a result of photosynthesis in the whole plant parts through the phloem tissue. Uh, we understand that the phloem responsible for carrying the food from the leaf to all the plant parts. The phloem composite of safe tubes, companion cells, parenchyma, and fibers. The plant can form the phloem by the connection of elongated cylindrical cells connected, that connected end to end. But the transverse wall perforated with pores, it does not disappear as that in the xylem. But the transverse wall perforated with pores to allow the passage of the cytoplasm from one safe tube to the next one. But the safe tube, inside the safe tube, the cells uh, uh, containing the cytoplasm only. So the protoplasm of the safe tube is devoid of nuclei. The absence of nuclei that to allow the passage of the cytoplasm from one cell to the neighbor one. But the safe tube has no nuclei. Uh, we understand that if the nucleus removed from the cells, the cells will die after a few days. But the presence of the companion cells, which contain pig nucleus, that control the activities of the safe tubes. The safe tubes also containing a great number of mitochondria, containing ribosomes that help the phloem to carry out its function or to carry the food or for high energy materials that on the cytoplasm in the form of cytoplasmic streaming from one cell to the neighbor one until reach the whole plant parts. So what about the experiments that prove that the phloem can carry out the can carry the food from the leaf to all the plant parts. The first experiment is the Rabdin and Boer experiment. Rabdin and Boer supply one leaf of peel plant with the carbon dioxide containing radioactive carbon-14 to P indicated by Geiger counter. Allows the plant to expose to direct sunlight to carry out photosynthesis. What about the observation of Rabdin and Boer? The food materials that formed as a result of photosynthesis which containing the radioactive carbon-14 pass from the leaf inside the safe tubes up and down inside the phloem tissue. So, Rabdin and Boer experiment to prove that the phloem responsible for carrying the food from the leaf to all the plant parts. But the second experiment that carried out by Mettler. Mettler used aphid insect as shown in this slide. Aphid insect containing purpose that act as a pressing mouse. It penetrates the tissue of the plant until it reaches the safe tubes and they can sucking the high energy materials from the safe tubes. Mettler cut the mouse of the aphid insect during its feeding and causing analysis of the, the stomach contain components of the aphid insect and also follow the purposes inside the plant. The analysis of the uh, stomach components of the aphid insect that prove the presence of sacrose, amino acids, vitamins inside the stomach of the aphid insect. But uh, when Mettler followed the purposes of the aphid insect inside the plant, he observed that the pressing mouse get inside the safe tubes where is the presence of amino acids, sucrose, and the vitamins that located inside, also inside the stomach of the aphid insect. Mettler used the aphid insect to collect the components of the safe tubes and also proves that the phloem responsible for carrying the high energy materials from the leaf to all the plant parts. But what about the cytoplasmic streaming theory? Cytoplasmic streaming theory that carried out by Sain and the Kenny. Sain and the Kenny prove by the uh, experiments that the phloem can carry out the high energy material from the leaf to all the plant parts. Thain and the Kenny prove that the high energy materials that formed uh, inside the uh, leaf as a result of photosynthesis can, trans can pass through the sieve tubes in the form of cytoplasmic streaming. The cytoplasm pass from one sieve tube to the next one through the pores of the sieve plate. The cytoplasm, which pass in the form of cytoplasmic streaming, is affected by oxygen and temperature. So when the oxygen increase or the temperature increase, that means the cytoplasmic streaming increase. That proves that the cytoplasmic streaming takes place by active transport because cytoplasmic streaming is affected by oxygen 
and the temperature. Affected by oxygen, that means that need oxygen or that's transportation by the presence of oxygen. Therefore, the cytoplasmic streaming is, uh, is affected by the presence of oxygen. So that's called the active transport. And also it's affected by the temperature because the active transport needs the presence of certain enzymes. The enzymes that affected by the temperature so the active transport also act as an enzymatic reaction so it affected by the temperature and also affected by the oxygen when the oxygen supply and temperature increase the cytoplasmic streaming increase the deficiency of oxygen or decrease the temperature that decrease the cytoplasmic streaming is that according to Thien and the Kenny theory which explains that the phloem responsible for carrying the food from the leaf to all the plant parts. That's the end of this part. My dear students, thank you very much. Goodbye and good luck.